This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. <laughs> We're not being paid. We just, no, snap, please. We just got sent the pack really, really early. My heart is like actually racing. This is so embarrassing, but we have early access to the new expansion pack for The Sims 4. I literally just got it like minutes ago. I have not seen anything yet, just the trailer. And that was like weeks ago. So I'm really excited to see the world. So I'm thinking that we could come in and like react to it together. Look, 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 Henford on Bagley. Look at the new world. Also this little Simsy thing on the screen. I didn't put that there. It's the version of the game we're playing. It's literally on the game. So, I know it's annoying. It's just part of this early access business. Okay, this is the first time we're gonna see the map. Are you ready? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so beautiful! Okay, wait, wait, okay. <gasps> So over here, we have the Bramblewood. The natural beauty of these woods have long provided a picturesque place for many wild birds, rabbits, and foxes to call home. Whether secreting a small surprise under Sophie the Snail, bringing an easel to paint the serene Cordelia Falls, foraging for wild mushrooms, or finding romance among the ruins on the Isle of Vulp, <laughs> any sim would be transformed by a day in the Bramblewood. Okay, so there's an Isle of Vulp park. It's got wild foxes, okay. Up here, we have Cordelia's secret cottage, starter home. We have Moody and McMillan, a family. They've got a house. Oh, this is a vacation rental. That's kind of fun. Okay, in this neighborhood, the town area, Finchwick, nestled along the River Bagley, the old mill village of Finchwick prides itself on the bustling and close-knit community. Its historic square features a pub and quaint stalls amid a flowering garden, perfect for a little window shopping. Tourists and locals alike flock to the weekly village fair, where Finchwick's mayor makes a special appearance to judge entries and gossip about the latest happenings. Oh, Okay, so we have the Gnome's Arms, the new pub. Another starter home down here. <laughs> Look, it's so close to the 20,000 simoleon budget. It costs 19,829. <laughs> I relate to that a lot. I don't know who built all these lots yet, but I relate to that a lot. Wait, is that a graveyard? <gasps> Sorry. We'll get to that. The Scott family lives here on a 20 by 20 lot. We've got one cobble bottom street, not a starter home. It costs like 31,000. Okay, up here. This is old new Henford, an area that boasts rolling- Oh, you can't see it. I got you. An area that boasts rolling hills, lush estates, and a small community garden. Old new Henford is perhaps best known for its historical naming woes. Initially known as Little Henford, the neighborhood renamed itself to New Henford in an attempt to escape its diminutive origins. However, in neglecting to inform national map makers, they ceased to officially exist for a two-week period. When told that to be reinstated would require yet another name change, residents chose Old New Henford, which beat out the other choice, New New Henford, by a single vote. Okay. <laughs> we love the lore. So there's a farmhouse. The Watson family has a big farmhouse. They're from the trailer. We have this family called the New Start. They've got a house. Another big fancy house. Costs 103,000 simoleons and an empty lot. Okay, where do we start? Oh, probably with these people, right? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna throw up, I'm not gonna lie, but, but uh, in a good way. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up in a good way. Oh, the landscaping is so beautiful. This lot is enormous. How much is it? Oh, challenge yourself with lot challenges. I don't know what that means yet. A new category for lot traits. Apply as many or as few as you want. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, we'll worry about that later. <gasps> Look at the pond tool. Ah! <sighs> Sorry, it's a 64 by 64 lot, by the way. Oh my God. I wanna know who built it so bad. I don't know who built all these yet. And look at the spoilers with the chicken coop and this animal shed. Oh my god. Look at the pond! It's got ducks in it. Oh my god. Oh, look at the crops. I- Okay. No, look at the new wood flooring. I am absolutely losing my mind right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, it's a big house. This is awesome. Look at the neighborhood it's in. Like, like this isn't my part of my lot, but it like looks like it blends in. <laughs> I'm so excited. Where are the other lots? This is the community garden they were talking about. Look! This is just part of the neighborhood. Okay, you can swim in this, of course. Look at the trees. There's rabbits in there. Oh my god. Okay, across the bridge, we've got another one of the houses. I love how sprawling this area is. Look how cute that is. Okay, we have, oh, another one of the houses up here. Okay. And then the empty lot over here too. Okay. This is like my dream. <laughs> I've wanted a countryside world like this for so long. Look at like the cows and the other houses in the distance too. Like just the neighbor- Oh, I'm going to the gnome's arms. It appears he's not um, getting along so well with his wife. <laughs> we seem to have stumbled upon some lore there. No, look. 
Oh my god, it's beautiful! Okay, first of all, this phone box, that is amazing. Who knew phone booth? You can place them? Oh, I'm gonna cry! I don't know why I called it a phone box, I'm sorry. I, you, <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. Okay, when you actually come in, look at this pub! Oh, pub owner, Sarah Scott. Okay, cottage pie, beef wellington, bangers and mash, aubergine parmesan, Yorkshire pudding, watermelon salad, pumpkin stew, pumpkin scones, mushroom soup, meat pie. <gasps> oh, this is adorable. Like, actually adorable. Okay, and then you can like window shop over here. Oh. Oh, you can literally window shop? <laughs> okay. Look at the little well. There's a grocery shop and a garden shop. This little town space, blue egg, blueberry, milk, catfish, cheese, choco berry. What? Raspberry? Small aubergine. Look at how many things there are. <gasps> okay, this is one of the houses as well. Look at that. Look at how fancy these neighborhoods are. Okay, so there's three houses like across the way and these like fancy areas. I love how these are all fake houses. Oh, this is the garden shop. Canned goods, wool, <laughs> cross stitch hoops. Okay, sorry. And then there's, there's a couple houses like more in the town and they're all relatively small lots too, which is so exciting for me. Look at the water. Okay, so you can fish over there if you want. I feel like I'm being pranked. This is the- I've never been so excited in my entire life. And I- I mean that like wholeheartedly. Oh, these are the gardens they were talking about. Imagine your sims come and get engaged over here. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, let's go to the park, I think now. I didn't know what to expect, but I feel like this is exactly what I was expecting. Does that make sense? I mean, they told us British countryside, so like, you know. Oh, look at his aspiration! Spoilers! I'm just trying to look at the world! <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. What is the lot? Oh, this is the lot. Okay, I was like, where- It blends in really well. Like, this is the park, but really, like, all of this is the park, you know? So it's just a little park. Look at how cool this pond looks! <gasps> you can manage the fish in the pond. What? I- <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. So what else is there over here? Can you cross this little bridge? No way. Okay, these are the ruins they were talking about. Am I really playing The Sims 4 right now? Oh, these are the birds. There's a flock of wild birds here. What? Look at this area with the grill and the, the trees. Could you imagine like having your Sims get engaged here <laughs> with the lights? Does that mean that these lights are in debug now? Okay, here's one of the new houses. Okay, okay. This is- now I'm just being taunted. <laughs> now I'm being taunted. Look at the fancy gates and stuff. Look at how beautiful the land- there's a butterfly! I've not even started playing- what's this? Notebook? Wait, huh, huh, what? The calendar is different! <laughs> is the calendar in the base game now? Okay, there's a chicken fair, a garden fair, a cow fair, and an oversized crop fair. This is a lot to take in all at once. Okay, we've got another house up here. Well, I love the addition! Oh my god, it's so cool! The like, the- the classic like British house with the- the like big more modern addition is so realistic. Look at the inside. Okay, okay. I realize this is a really silly first impressions video and you're probably like, Kayla, <laughs> show us the good stuff. I'm just- this is my first time seeing it, so I'm really looking forward to it. How do you even get up here? This is like a secret part of the town. You gotta like wind all the way up. Okay, this is one of the starter homes. Look at how cute that is with the little farm area. This is my dream. <laughs> I cannot wait to play on these lots. This is one of the pre-made family's houses. Look at their little garden. And they have a little farm section as well. Oh, the amount of detail. Spoilers for the furniture, look at the wallpaper. This is so beautiful. Like genuinely the most beautiful thing I have ever seen, I'm not kidding. Oh, look at the new kitchen set. Oh my god. Look at the like more old timey fridge and stove too. Oh, this is so good. Also major props to, I don't know who of the creators that built the lots built which lot, at least not yet. But once I find out, I'll like update the description and stuff. It's just now, as of recording this, I have no idea who built what. Um, but I honestly am so impressed with the builds. They had Sims Game Changers do all the lots. So they're like good builds. <laughs> I'll link all the people who made them down below and I'll also, if I find out, list who made what so that you guys can check. Okay, these are so British. This is so perfect. <laughs> okay, here's the inside of this one. I love these little windows, the little green windows. <gasps> the fireplace! That couch is new too. But I love the more modern addition. That's so realistic. Like this is just the best. Okay, I love this one. I can't pick a favorite. I don't know which one's the best one. I, I like them all so much. Okay, this is one of the pre-made family's homes. It looks like a converted barn. New front door, by the way. New windows, by the way. <laughs> just throwing that out there. New pond, by the way. Chickens, by the way. <laughs> okay, so inside. Little like coat room, bathroom. 
study. I love this kitchen. That's another new fridge. Is there two new fridges? <gasps> oh my god. Dining space. This is so cute. I love the layout of this house. How interesting is it with the beams and stuff too? We have another house. This one big fancy lot. Look at the terrain paint. How detailed. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I am feeling so inspired to build right now. Okay, here's the inside. It's massive. Is that another new fireplace? There's not two. There's two. Okay, spoilers. Sorry, we're just looking at we're just looking at the lots right now. Upstairs, some more bedrooms. I just can't get over how the lots are laid out. Like this is so beautiful. What's that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, these are the spawners. Oh, what? So I assume you can't see this when you're in game. You can see it in build mode though. So you could put spawners for all of it. I am really and completely totally losing my mind right now. I, I <laughs> what? Okay, just three more lots. I don't think you can actually enter the graveyard, but you can just see it, which is fine by me. Oh, that's a new terrain paint. What? Uh, it's different. Everything has changed. Okay, anyway, this is one of the houses. This one costs about 30,000 simoleons. You can see some of the new roof tools with this as well. Oh, I love that it has an attic. How clever. That's so fun as like an update that you can renovate eventually, you know? Right now it's just one bedroom. They have a little like living room kitchen and dining space, and then obviously the upstairs attic that you could eventually improve upon. It's so cool. Look at the swatches on this door. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, this one is a starter home. It costs about 17,000, 18,000 simoleons. I love this. I love that they all have such nice garden spaces too, you know? All right, inside, two bedrooms, one bathroom. Look at the new little chairs. Oh, I'm so happy. <sighs> This wallpaper is amazing too. Oh my god. And the last build is this bigger one. Belongs to the Scott family. It's a bit more grand as you can see. I love this front door. Okay, so they have like a, a sort of sunroom type extension thing over here. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. New plant, red alert, new plant, new plant. It's only 50, it's a fiddly fig and it's only 50 simoleons. <gasps> oh my god. Whatever this is, Forager's Delight Bench. I gotta, I haven't seen any bill items yet, so this is exciting me too much. I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Okay, upstairs, couple more bedrooms, even a nursery, oh. All right, all right, those are all the lots. So in total, we've got 12 lots, one of them is empty, there are three neighborhoods. They are all massive, especially this top one by the waterfall. That is a huge neighborhood. It looks so good. Obviously, I haven't played it yet. This is my first time looking at it. So I will have lots more videos coming this week on the new pack. So stay tuned for that. We will have plenty of updates for you. But as of right now, I'm feeling really excited. I This is like my dream, like a farming countryside kind of world. Oh, my dream, my dream. My favorite thing in The Sims 3 with Appaloosa Plains, the like farming countryside world from the pets pack. I loved that. And this is obviously a very different vibe, but it's a similar like small countryside town kind of vibe. And oh, I'm so excited about it. Okay. I will of course link the creators of these builds down below. I am so glad that EA is working with actual simmers to make these lots because they are so much better this way. And stay tuned for this week. I have so many more videos in this pack coming. I'm gonna go like dig in deep and try and start playing so I can get familiar with it. And then I'll start recording tonight. I cannot wait. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Okay, let me know in the comments, which neighborhood do you like the best? I think the waterfall one is so cool, but like the little town area, I'm so into the little town area.